Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the party. My name is Commissioner Ken DeMerchant. Um, you don't know me. Uh, thank you very much for coming. Uh, joining me this evening, I'd, first, I'd like to uh, give a th real quick thank yous. Um, thank yous to my staff who worked especially hard on putting this all together, uh, Shannon and Ushani. Um, and then also a very special thank you to uh, Fort Bend County IT uh, folks that, that also helped put this together. And, you know, they deserve a round of applause. So thank you. Thank you to them for making this happen. And, um, and real quick, while I, while I have everybody together, um, just want to give a quick PSA public service announcement and just say, you know, please go out and get vaccinated. Um, we've been doing great at Fort Bend County and getting people vaccinated, especially precinct four. I'm so proud to say that we have vaccinated more people in the county in precinct four than the other precincts. So I'm, I'm very proud of that. And so please, if you know anybody that needs to get vaccinated or you need to get vaccinated, please reach out to us. We'll make sure you get an appointment or uh, find a place to get vaccinated. So with that, I'd like to welcome and thank you for joining me this evening to celebrate this 2021 first quarter Demerchant Spotlight honorees. I created this Demerchant Spotlight Award to recognize the community heroes of Fort Bend County. And these are really the unsung heroes that they don't get recognition. They're not asking for recognition, but they're really making a difference in Fort Bend County. And so this Emergent Spotlight Award goes to those individuals who dedicate their time, their talents, their actions, and their knowledge to serving the diverse community here in Fort Bend County, and especially Precinct 4. So it is my pleasure to present to you this evening our first, the January Spotlight Award uh, the first one of 2021, and it's Miss Christine Wynn of the Sweet Boutique Bakery, and that is located in the Sugarland Town Square. Christine, will you please join me for your proclamation? Good evening. It's good to see you, Christine. Thank you very much for, for joining us. Um, I'm going to go through the proclamation. So, whereas Christine Wynn is the owner of Sweet Boutique in Sugarland, Christine is the daughter of immigrants who moved to Sugarland before she entered college. Christine was an elementary school teacher before becoming an entrepreneur. And whereas Christine is a self-taught cake designer and started baking at home for her children, watching cake decorating shows on television inspired her to enroll in a beginner's cake class at a local craft shop. Seeing the joy her cakes brought to her children, she decided to share this with others. And whereas Christine represented Sugarland when she competed against 10 other bakers on the Food Network Spring Baking Championship season six. And whereas Christine comes from humble beginnings and is passionate about giving back to her community. Volunteering is a huge part of Christine's life. Christine serves as Sugar Angel for a nonprofit called Icing Smiles where she bakes and donates cakes to children currently battling lifelong diseases, lifelong illnesses. And whereas Christine and her family are devoted to causes that help better people's lives, she and her family became a licensed foster family caring for foster children for two years before adopting their youngest daughter. During the pandemic, Christine organized a diaper drive for Casa de Esperanza. The drive for diapers in exchange for donuts from her bakery was able to donate three vans full over the course of three months. She was one of the top two fundraisers for Icing Smiles in 2020. And therefore, I can our direction by the power vested in me as Fort Bend Commission, County Commissioner of Fort Bend County, Texas, Precinct 4, acknowledge and present Christine Wynn, the January 2021 Emergent Spotlight Award for her commitment to serving for the greater good of our community. Thank you very much, Christine. 
It's an honor to have you here. Thank you, Commissioner. It's an honor to receive this award. I'm just so, you know, out of my community. And, and I couldn't have done any of this without the support of my husband, my children, um, my work, uh, my staff at work, and, you know, like uh, my fans. I, I love meeting everyone and so happy to get back to the community. Awesome. Thank, thank you, Christine. And I think uh, my, after the ceremony, my daughter and I are going to come by and buy some uh, cake pops. Wonderful. I am. I'm <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on now, Dr. Sterling and also Dr. Sterling Carter and Stephen Carter, will you please join me? Hello, Commissioner. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Commissioner. Thank you very much for being here. I'm going to read you and your brother's proclamation. So, whereas Dr. Carter and Stephen Levy Carter are twin entrepreneurs and motivational speakers based in Houston, first founded. Carter Care Health, a conglomerate of healthcare companies focused on expanding the expanding the extended care marketplace. And whereas Stephen Carter received his MBA from the University of Houston, and and Dr. Sterling Carter received his doctorate in physical therapy from Simon's. There he is from from Simon's College. And whereas Coming from humble beginnings, the Carter brothers strive to be role models. They desire to be the light that shines a path forward to greatness. For the fortunate, the downtrodden, and for those who feel left behind. The brothers created the Sterling Cares to give back to the community. And whereas during the pandemic, the Carter brothers worked with Fort Bend County to ensure CARES Act funding would be utilized to assist minority owned, women owned, veteran owned, disability owned, and LGBTQ owned businesses. And whereas Dr. Carter serves on the board of directors for St. Michael's Learning Academy and the Fort Bend Education Foundation, Stephen Carter serves, serves on the board while Dr. Sterling Carter serves as a member of the 100 Black Men of America Houston Metropolitan Chapter and mentors young males throughout the community. And whereas amongst them, their accolades, and, and this is a lot folks, <laughs> incorporated 5,000 list in years 2019, 18, 17, and 16, for the fastest growing businesses in the US, Better Business Bureau Business Healthcare Company of the Year in 2017 and 18, American Business Awards Gold Stevie Awards for 2019, 18, and 17, Houston Business Journal, Journal Fast 100 for 2019, and Entrepreneurial 360 Award for 2019. Greater Houston Black Chamber of Commerce Pinnacle Award winner, 2017. I told you it was a long list. And therefore, I, Ken R. Demerchant, by the power vested in me as County Commissioner of Fort Bend County, Texas, Precinct 4, acknowledge and present Dr. Sterling Carter and Stephen Carter, the February 2021 Demergent Spotlight Award for their commitment to serving for the greater good of our community. Thank you very much, both of you. Thank you, Commissioner. We we appreciate the award and what do we do for the community? We do out of love. We've grown up in the Fort Bend County area and we really um, benefited from having mentors in our lives. And so we just wanna make sure that we provide the same opportunities to those that may not have someone to look up to, a role model from a business perspective, definitely. So thank you, Ken, for recognizing us on this award. Absolutely. It's 
It's my pleasure. You guys, you guys are awesome. Thank you, Commissioner Reed. Yes, Sterling, please go ahead. If you have you have something you'd like to say. I think we lost him. Yeah, oh, thanks. I just wanted to say thank you. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if you guys see me or not. I apologize for my, my attire. I'm just sitting in the airport, just leaving Jamaica. So it's a pleasure to be here. I was I was actually going to wear a T-shirt, but uh, <laughs> staff told me this was a this was a formal party, so I had to exactly. put on a tie. My tux was waiting for me at home. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> so, moving on now. Uh, last but not least, Chloe, will you please join me? There she is, <clears throat> the, the youngest of the of the group. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to read your proclamation, Chloe. So whereas Chloe Joyner is an eight-year-old attending Palmer Elementary in Fort Bend County, at age four, Chloe founded a book and a smile as an effort to strengthen relations between community and police officers. Initially working with the Missouri City Police Department, A Book and a Smile was launched to help children feel comfortable with police officers. And whereas Chloe's A Book and a Smile now serves as an avenue to not only strengthen community ties, but also help underprivileged children with access to books, Chloe has donated books to a local middle school, to, a homeless, to homeless children at Star of Hope Mission, and distributed books in a drive-by book parade in celebration of her birthday, where she handed out free books to children. So that's that tells you something. That's what she does on her birthday. She she hands out books to other kids. Whereas a book and a smile has donated over six thousand books to groups and organizations across Greater Houston. Chloe received a a recent donation by Disney of one thousand books in support of her A Book and a Smile. Chloe's services have benefited many, including the Vicksburg community, Palmer Elementary, Star of Hope, Fort Bend Women's Center, Children's Protective Services, and Texas Children's Hospital. And whereas Chloe has received numerous awards, including Hometown Hero, Niagara Water Hero, Point of Light honoree, Baskin Robbins Pint Size Hero nominee, and the Congressional Medal of Honor Society's Citizen Award finalist. And whereas in her mission to make a difference in the lives of others, Chloe continued her service during the pandemic to assist many children who lost access to reading resources. Chloe is determined to continue to stay involved with the community and take action to benefit everyone. Now, therefore, I, Ken R. DeMerchant, by the power vested in me as County Commissioner of Fort Bend County, Texas, Precinct 4, acknowledge and present Chloe Joyner the March 2021 DeMerchant Spotlight Award for her commitment to serving for the greater good of our community. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Chloe. If you want to share something or, or make a remark, please have at it. Hi, I'm so honored and grateful. Um, thank you so much, Ms. Mr. Commissioner DeMarchant. And I think that everybody should have at least one book or more. Because I, I know I, I love reading. And I always love reading because I know that, especially now with the pandemic going on, I know that um, you want to go places, but you really can't to keep it pandemic and like um motion to get over with it and i think that um when you read a book that like, in a place like rapunzel or something you can close your eyes while you're reading it and then you can just picture yourself in a different place and it's like amazing for me and i think everybody should have that opportunity yeah you are you are so right and thank you so much chloe for being here and and being my uh, award winner for for march and I wish you all the best in your million book goal. Uh, you shoot for the stars. 
and I wish you all the best. And I encourage everybody to, uh, to donate a book to Chloe. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna move on. That was our our three the first quarter, so the first three months of 2021. But uh, you know, due to the pandemic, it's been kind of hard to to give acknowledgement uh, this past year. So we're gonna take a few minutes here to um, highlight our 2020 Spotlight Award winners. And so we're gonna go through each one. I hope you guys can hear me. Uh, we're starting with uh, Mr. Wayne Chandler. He's a civic leader who has, who has more energy than his young, younger peers and the heart to serve his community like no other. We had Natalie Bostick, Corpen ISD registered nurse, who has dedicated her career to taking care of our children and their health. We had Karen Jennings, a civic leader and board member of Fort Bend Family Promise. Her amazing giving spirit has touched every corner of Fort Bend County and probably the only rival to Wayne Chandler. Uh, and I just had a, had a Zoom meeting when Karen was, uh, was on there and, and she's, she's amazing. Um, Moving on, we also had Dexter McCoy. Uh, he's a social actions advocate and champion for children. He is formerly FBISD ESL assistant director. And I am so happy that he has now uh, joined the Fort Bend County family. He is uh, chief of staff for our very own Fort Bend County Judge KP George. Uh, next up, we had Vicki Coates. She's the executive director of East Fort Bend Human Needs Ministry. She is a tireless social services advocate that Fort Bend County families have come to know they can count on during any disaster, hurricane, or pandemic they may face. Uh, we also had uh, Glenda McCall. She's the president of the Fort Bend County AFT and retired teacher who is passionate for meeting all the needs of students and teachers so that they can thrive. Uh, Glenda was also on the, the Zoom call that I referenced earlier with, with Ms. Karen Jennings. Uh, she's, uh, Glenda is amazing too. The, and the, the funny thing about it is she was like all over the place. Uh, she was kind of like uh, uh, the, the in the driveway, in the office, in the here and the there, she was all over the place during the call. It was, it was, uh, it, it was, it was pretty funny <laughs> to watch her as her scenery changed. Uh, we also had um, Ms. Zona Johnson, beautiful young young soul, who is our 2020-2021 Miss Sugarland Outstanding Teen and a student ambassador for Child Advocates of Fort Bend. Uh, next up, we had a, a group. It was Sasha, Irma, and Francisca, who are the owners of Cure and Company, a one-stop cancer shop in Glow House Spa located in Sugarland. They are dedicated to helping everyone glow from the inside out. Uh, next up, we had uh, Deacon Gilberto Rodriguez. And he is with St. Teresa Sugarland and chaplain for Fort Bend County Juvenile Justice Center. He is a defender of the poor, immigrants, and marginalized. And then last, uh, next up, we have a couple more. Next up, we have um, Mr. Nasra Radun Rupani of the Rupani Foundation, chairman of Ibensina. I clinic, entrepreneur, philanthropist, and all around humanitarian whose heart of, for children, families, and communities shines through with everything he does. And then last, but certainly not least, we
we have Mr. Cliff Parker, entrepreneur, strong visionary, and devoted civic leader. He formed Second Mile Ministries and is a Chick-fil-A franchise owner, including the Bellaterra location off Grand Parkway. His love for serving others and heart for providing economic opportunities has helped the growth and development of Fort Bend County. And I know that uh, Mr. Parker was unable to join us. Uh, he's feeling ill and I hope that uh, he has a speedy recovery. All right, well, that, that wraps it up. I wanna thank, thank everyone for attending this ceremony and celebrating all of our honorees this evening. I know there are countless others deserving of this spotlight and I look forward to recogn recognizing you too. If you know someone who is making a difference in their community, inspires others, overcome life challenges, please fill out the award nomination form and help me recognize them. Thank you very much and, and have a good evening, folks.